Hi guys, Adam from Meadows Panel Builders. I'm currently in Winston-Salem, North Carolina at Lookup Aviation. Uh, we're doing a uh, install on a harness for a uh, Sling TSI. Uh, but real quick, I wanted to uh, talk about a new software update that Garmin just released for the G3X Touch. It's version 9.12, and um, it's, in my opinion, mandatory. Uh, one of the big things is it addresses uh, Garmin Service Bulletin 22112, and uh, that service bulletin is for a potential pitch trim runaway an autopilot engagement, and this is applicable to all G3X Touch software versions. Um, so if you're using automatic trim with the G3X, regardless of whether you're using Garmin's uh, servo as your pitch trim servo or somebody else's, uh, you could be susceptible to this error. Um, so your corrective action right now is to either install the new software update or uh, to disable automatic pitch trim for the time being. Um, this update does bring a couple other neat little features. One of them is uh, with the transponders, the GTX 45R and 345R, or rather 345 series. Um, they don't have enough bandwidth on the RS-232 line right now to give you all of the ADSB weather information that's available, especially the newer stuff from the FAA. Um, so now this new uh, form, they introduced a new format called Connects Format 4 that will address that. So you can change that as soon as you update to the new software, uh, as long as your transponder is up to date as well. Uh, additionally, um, you can now disable electronic stability protection by holding your autopilot disconnect button for five seconds. So if you have it on by default and then you hold that button, it'll disable it. So if you're practicing stalls or maneuvers or something, uh, you can get rid of it that way um, rather than having to go through the G3X menus. We'll have a full uh, update on our uh, Facebook page uh, with a post that goes over some other little features on there. Uh, so stay tuned for that and uh, we'll see you in the next one.